Hello, Happiness Abounders, and welcome back. We are wrapping up our theme week all about emotional self-care today, and we're talking about taking time to have that emotional self-care. So a quick recap of the week. We've spoken about the awareness of our emotions and not avoiding them, but actually just being fully aware and identifying them. We've spoken about sitting in those emotions and sitting in that discomfort. We've spoken about expression over suppression. And yesterday we walked through the top six buffering techniques. Number seven, by the way, is video games. Anyways, so today I wanna talk about giving yourself time for that expression over suppression. Time that is not spent buffering, but spent acknowledging those emotions and really work through, working through them with emotional management techniques so that you can be emotionally balanced and have that emotional self-care that you need in your life. So that said, let's dive in. Let's talk about giving yourself time and validating your feelings by giving yourself time. So like I mentioned, yesterday's episode was all about the top six ways that we buffer. And what's really interesting is I felt like the last three I mentioned, which were watching TV, overeating, and scrolling through social media, I feel like those all take time. So what if we flipped that? What if instead of spending time running away from and buffering our emotions, we instead gave that time to really validate and feel them? much better off we'd be <laughs> and I am not immune to this I do this too I so do this too which is why I know about it but I have to set aside designated times so that I can have emotional release and emotional self-care just like we spoke about not last week with civil physical self-care but the week before when we talked and spoke about self-care in general I mentioned that we have to set aside time for it because if it only happens when we absolutely need it, then it doesn't have its full work because we haven't been like building it. If we need, if we are waiting to use emotional self care techniques until we absolutely need them, then we're missing the point because I would rather use them all the time and never be in that need, 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 need state, but instead be in a state that's always in that emotional self care balance. So to do that, it's not just gonna happen. We have to schedule it. If it's not on the calendar, it doesn't happen, right? So we have to schedule in and allow time for us to practice emotional self-care. And I wanna do a quick side note on validating your feelings and a quick way to do that validation. And by quick, I don't necessarily mean timely, but an actual exercise of something to say when you have that time set aside. And that is, insert emotion here, right? Today I am feeling sad, and that's okay. Today I am feeling angry, and that's okay. Today I'm feeling joyful, and that's okay. Right? Whatever those emotions that you're feeling are, don't say I am. Say I am feeling, right? You are not your emotion. You are feeling your emotion. So I am feeling angry. I am feeling hurt whatever those emotions are, and that's okay. That's the important part of that validation piece. And then giving yourself that time to sit in that and realize, is it okay? And it is. And then taking those next steps, whatever they may be for you. But you have to have that time set aside. So you may be aware, you may not, depending on which episodes you've listened to, I have a special time set aside for emotional expression of crying. Most Wednesday nights on my drive home from work, I will put on my crying playlist. It's songs that make me cry. Now, I may not be sad in like the full life spectrum, but I know that I need to have some emotional release and I know that it's okay to be sad. So I almost have like a triggering effect so that I can be sad, so I can cry and I can release those emotions and then be able to get on with my day, get on with my week until the next time I need to cry. And doing this really helps me when I am feeling sad, A, know that it's okay, and B, not have it feel so overwhelming because I can cry then and that's fine, or I can cry on Wednesday and it will just add more to my songs that I am listening to and crying to. So that's one way that I set aside specific time to feel sad 
say and really say it's okay because I'm the one instigating it. Now that sound that may sound really weird, but it only sounds weird if you think feeling sad is bad. It only sounds weird if you think that being sad is not okay. Which brings us back to the full spectrum of this conversation of that emotional care at its core is being aware of your emotions and being able to sit in them and understand that it is okay to feel what we deem as quote unquote negative emotions. It is okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel angry and frustrated and lonely and hurt. That is all okay. The difference is that we're scared we're also going to wallow in it. Hence why it's important to have the time. You're spending the time buffering anyways. Set aside some time for you to really sit in those emotions and understand them. Then the wallowing won't happen. The wallowing, for lack of a better word, happens when we've suppressed it so much that it's so overflowing, we haven't expressed, we've suppressed, and now it's so overflowing that it feels overwhelming and we have to wallow in it. So if we can set up a designated time, time for us to validate and sit in and work through our emotions and have that be okay, that is the epitome of emotional self care. So I want to challenge you. This is a Friday episode, but whatever day of the week you are listening to this, I want to challenge you to put some time on your calendar, even if it's just 15 minutes to set aside that time sit down and take an inventory of what you're feeling and then say, I'm feeling insert emotion here and that's okay. And see how that changes things. It's going to be really uncomfortable at first because our whole lives we've been told not to feel these emotions, but we're humans. We're going to feel them anyways. You might as well have a designated time to do it and express instead of suppress so that you can be in that emotional self care balance realm. So I'm going to challenge you with that today. I'm going to leave you with that today. If you liked this episode or you've liked this theme week, I want to encourage you to please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcasts or on Facebook. You can find the Happiness Abound show at Happiness Abound blog on Facebook, Happiness underscore Abound on Instagram, and of course, Happiness Abound on your listening platforms of choice. But by leaving a review, you help other people join the Happiness Abound community and see what it's all about. So if any of these episodes have ever helped you, help another person find the show and maybe it'll help them too by leaving a review. So all of that said, again, the challenge is to set aside some time for emotional self-care and get into the routine of being able to do that. And above everything else, remember, you are capable of happiness abound.